What's up everyone, it is Bucky and welcome to your 10th Python tutorial and in this tutorial I'm going to be showing you guys or uh, teaching you guys how to do something called slicing. Now what slicing is, is pretty much just like it sounds, it lets you slice out or extract certain pieces of a sequence. So um, that's pretty much it, so let me show you guys. Uh, let me make an example list and I will name it example because yes, that's how creative I am. And let's number it 0 through 9. 0, 1, 2, 3, 6, 7, 8, 9. Uh, did I mess it up at all? It looks good to me. And now, once you have that, I forgot an equal sign. Go ahead and press enter, and it will create your example list sequence for you, whatever you want to call it. Now, in order to slice out certain pieces of your sequence, here's what you need to do. Type in the name of your list. Then in your square braces, type the first element that you want to include in your extraction or slice. So I want it to begin with 4. Next, add a semicolon. And what you have to do after this is add the number that you want. Here, I'm just going to show you guys what it is. 4 to 8 gives you 4 to 7. So this 4 right here is the first number that you want to include in your extraction but this 8 right here that's this and that's the last lump last number that you don't want to include so again this first one is what you include and this last one is like kinda your once it gets to that don't include anymore so again if you extract 4 um, 4 colon 8 it gives you an extraction of 4 through 7 so just keep that in mind so this presents the problem alright what if we want to extract all of these? So would we do 4 through 9? Well, let's see how that is. E-A-X-A-M-P-L-E and 4 colon 9. Well, this gives you 4 to 8, but we can't do 4 through 10 because 10 is not even part of this um, list at all. Or is it? So let's go ahead and try that out. So 4 colon 10 and bam. This will give us our end of our list. And that is one way where you can um, use a slice to extract all the pieces to the end of your list. Just add one more to the rest of your list. So if this list goes to 9, then add 10. But there are a lot easier ways to do this. So, for example, you could do it that way. And another thing that you can do is extract a negative. Or let me show you guys another problem that we have. If you have... Um, a long list and you want to start from backwards and extract this way could you do something like negative 5 colon negative 1 so this should give you all of this right well let's see nope it still is missing that 9 so how can we um, kind of expand that negative 1 e x a p l e example maybe if we go negative 5 to 0 maybe that'll work uh, nope that's definitely not what we want so I wish there was a shortcut that we could count backwards but also include the end of the list. Hmm. Bam. Roasted toasted. Bucky, you are a genius. I think I just thought of something. And by thought of something, I mean I learned this and I cheated. How we can do this is something, well, I don't know what it's called, but you pretty much leave your end empty. And what this means is continue to the last element. So you just put example negative 5, that's the beginning of your range, and the end of your range is empty, and this is going to continue on the entire list and just get all the rest of it. So press enter, and look, it does all the work for you. And you can also make it for the beginning empty and make your end what you want. So let's go put, add and put example, um, let's go ahead and put 3 colon, oh wait a minute, we just did that, that's embarrassing. That's embarrassing, I mean. Colon 7. And it will start at the beginning and give you all your list to that checkpoint. So that's how you can do that. And that's how you can slice without knowing the very first value, but only going to the end of whatever you want. You guys really need to play around with this. And another thing I want to teach you guys before I let you guys go. What if you do that and you don't include any values? Well, this is a little shortcut to get your entire list. So again, 
when you're slicing you need two values the first one is the first one you want to include the second number is what you want to go to you can also do it backwards and again if you don't include one of the numbers then it's just going to go all the way to the end and include everything now I said that that was the last thing that I'm going to teach you about allied. There's also a third element that you can have. And let me show you guys how this works. Now the first two elements were your starting point and your ending point. But there's also a third colon that you can add and a third number. And this is how many, let's say, how much you want to increment by. So let's say um, start at 1, end at 7 and I know it's type to eight, and go by twos. This is how you would extract every um, other number. So let's go ahead and we see one, three, five, seven. So as you can see, there's also a third parameter here that you could use. So now we have the starting number, the ending number, and an optional number right here about how much you want to increment my, or how many numbers you're gonna skip before you get to the next one and you could also go from right to left and to do this let's get our example list again we would need the uppermost number the bottommost number and if we want to go from right to left we need a negative number in here so once we have that you can see alright now we're counting backwards so this last number right here not only skips every other number but it also allows you to count backwards in a list or sequence when slicing and this is going to be real useful and just so you guys can cheat if you guys ever get lazy I just want to tell you guys that there's you can also use the shortcut for this and what this would do is include everything in your list and also count backwards so let me do that and it will give you the same result so if you include if you want to do your whole list that's the only reason this would be useful you don't have to set the parameters but again this is a little shortcut to count backwards from your entire list and I know this can be kinda of confusing uh, slicing but pretty much just watch this tutorial again follow along with every example and by the end of it I promise you'll be a pro at slicing and be able to extract any information you want from your list so that is the basics on slicing I hope you guys learned something uh, I guess I'll just see you next tutorial that's all I have to teach you this time so I'm looking forward to it. I'll see you next time.